Hey, my foodie friends and family. Welcome back. I'm always glad to see you, you know. Um, today we're going to do a recipe that's called Honey Garlic Steak, steak Bites. Man, that was a mouthful. Um, you got a couple of steaks kicking around the fridge and you don't want to grill them up with mushrooms and onions and want to do something different. Well, this is it today. So in a deep skillet, I'm adding two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive, but you can use whatever oil you like. Um, today we're going to be using some high temperature to sear this meat, so you'd need an oil that can withstand the heat. Um, canola would be really good. Um, other oils will start smoking when it gets too hot. Definitely do not use butter because it's going to turn black on you. As we get the skillet up to temperature, I'm going to um, start putting about one pound of sirloin that I've cut into little bits. Um, judge the size so that it will get cooked rather quickly rather than something that you need to cook for maybe a half an hour or so. We want these cooked fast and we want them brown and we want them to look delicious. This part of the recipe is the most time consuming and the most painstaking. Um, but the results are absolutely amazing when you have deep brown steak bits um, that will be just delicious when we're all done. It's going to take a bit of time now, but it is certainly worth it in the end. Do you guys have recipes for some steak bits like this? If you do, why don't you drop me a line? I'd love to hear about it and maybe I'll do it. Um, do your recipe. I'm going to season with some salt and pepper. This would be a good time to add any chili flakes or hot pepper, um, cayenne. Um, if you like them spicy, this would be the time to do it. Um, honey, garlic, and, and spice would go really good together. So if you like that kind of thing, try it out. I'm also adding some sweet paprika. You could definitely use hot paprika here instead of hot pepper flakes. Um, it doesn't add a lot of flavor, but it adds a tremendous color to when the beef is browning. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? It's making my mouth water and I don't want to have steak now. <laughs> and it's um, very early in the morning, so I don't think I'll be cooking up steak just yet. <laughs> So we are cooking this in one layer um, and turning it over as one side gets brown. Do not crowd your pan because um, you're going to get this kind of gray foam come up and it doesn't look nice and it doesn't taste nice. You're going to really have to take the time now to brown this meat. I promise this recipe is so simple afterwards. Um, this is going to be the worst part. <laughs> I really don't like recipes that are too fiddly, but I got through this one. So here's the last of the steak. This is the second layer. And you notice that you have some beautiful brown bits on the bottom of your pan. Don't wash your pan out now. Um, you want all this flavor. This is going to have a lot of umami from the beef um, steak bites. I'm adding a sauce that has three tablespoons of soy, a quarter cup of beef stock, a tablespoon of garlic, two tablespoons of honey, a tablespoon of sesame oil, a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, and a half a teaspoon of oregano and a tablespoon of cornstarch. The recipe will be down below, so don't worry if you didn't catch it while you're watching this. As you see, once you pour it into the pan, it gets quite thick. Now this is not meant to be a gravy. This is meant to be coating those steak bites and making them even more flavorful. However, if you do find it a bit too thick, just add a little more flour. Oh, sorry, not flour. Add a little more water or a little bit more beef stock. You want to gently toss the steak bites in the sauce. Man, that looks so good. I'm getting so hungry, man. <laughs> this um, recipe is served 
um, on rice with a nice side salad. I've also had it on a nice toasted crusty French baguette and lined up all the beef inside that beautiful um, crusty bread, added a little bit of um, lettuce and tomato, another delicious way to eat this. So there's the finished dish. There's enough there for a couple people. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the recipe, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel. We just adore foodies here. The more the merrier. Thanks for stopping by for some more food that warms your soul and mine too. We'll see you next time.